Hi guys, Jano Jada, driver of the number 101 Harold Volante Rosso Mercedes AMG GT3. I thought I'd take you for a bit of a tour and show you what the inside of my car looks like. So a little bit different than a supercar, um, you know, customer racing. So these cars are the same everywhere around the world and sold and run as Mercedes customer cars. So um, based off their road car, um, the Mercedes GTR, and you know, as you can see, it's sort of not not quite like a road car. Uh, looking at the wheel, it's a bit of a F1 style wheel almost. Starting at the top, we've got a radio button. Um, obviously, it comes with the team drink. Uh, so you you know. Throughout some long stints, this car's probably done all, over four hours of driving this weekend. So um, between Ross and myself, we might get a bit thirsty. Um, on either side, basically where your thumbs would be, um, it's DDU page uh, plus minus, and that's just a cycle through all the multiple pages that we have on the dash. Neutral, so you can't actually grab neutral by pulling any of the paddles. You, it's all, all done by a button. So when you're coming into a pit stop, you might grab neutral, so that way the crew can move the car back and forth. Chrono, that's actually to um, sort of mark mark something down in the data, so that way when the engineers, if, if something might happen with the car or something that you just want to have as a note, it's easy to find in the data for the engineers. Start, stop, uh, you know, it's it's just easy, quick, done by a button, no turn key here. Um, obviously, we're using that a lot through through the pits. Pit speed, got a little bit of a cowling around here, so that way you just don't knock your finger onto the pit speed. And flash, very good lap traffic, just to let them know and try to give them as much notice that you're coming and coming quite fast. Sometimes, you know, the pros will try to use it to get in the other pro's head if you're trying to get a move and put them off a little bit. Probably one of the only parts from maybe the original road car, the indicator stalk along with the wipers, uh, this whole steering column as well. Uh, this whole steering column as well, in and out like your normal road car, which is quite cool. So along with the pedal box as well. The good thing about customer racing is they, they really try to tailor the cars to everyone. And obviously you've got different height of drivers, different size drivers jumping in each and every stint. So um, that's, that's really cool. Um, obviously quite different to what you'd see in the supercars where um, in previous generations it's taken quite a while to, to adjust the cars and um, makes the mechanics jobs definitely a lot easier. If we move our way over to the centre console, we've got our race logic time recorder. So that's basically measures our pit stops in GT racing. We go off a, a minimum pit stop time. So that will tell us to make sure that we stop for the right amount of time. Um, you know, we normally stop for 30 to 40 seconds in the pit stop. So that makes it so we can be to, still to the tenth of the second. Brake bias, uh, adjusting that front or rearward is pretty standard in most race cars. You've got fuel reset, just to reset any fuel numbers um, as, they, as they load it up. So more for your endurance racing than sprint. Um, hazards like a normal road car, you've got a couple of options for lights, uh, rain light and fan. Working our way lower down um, in the centre console here, you've got ABS and TC, both are rated 1 to 11 for different options and different mapping. Um, so between drivers or between a stint you might adjust, change that slightly uh, and then obviously in the wet you'll change that dramatically as well. Um, ABS reset, uh, just to reset the ABS if it happens to have a fault or um, whatever else and you can turn the TC on and off quite easily with the switch of a button. Ignition, basically give the cars some power. Main, main switch, uh, if you need to grab reverse that's down there as well with the, and you sort of do a little bit of magic trick down with the steering wheel. Um, and then you've got a couple of options for, for fuel pump in case one fails. Uh, and then you've got the, the button that no one ever wants to hit is because you're on fire and you need to put the car off. My year's quite tricky. Uh, I jump between this and uh, I'm co-driving with Matt Stone and Jack LeBrock uh, at Sandow and Bathurst later this year. So we've been doing a little bit of a testing program. So switching between the driving style, what makes this thing quick as opposed to the supercar um, is a bit of a challenge. They're very, very different cars. They might you know, somewhat look the same, but trust me, they're, they're very, very different beasts to tame. So adjusting my driving style can get tricky at times, but getting on top of it. So uh, thank you for coming on a tour with uh, me and the 101 Harold Volante Rosso Mercedes AMG GT3.